Well, happy Monday morning. It is Monday, which means I need to get coffee and then feed the baby and then get to work. So let's get to it. Is somebody getting hungry? So this week should be a busy week. I have three major things that I want to get accomplished before Friday. Um, one is that I want to finish up the new UI system in my game. I'm implementing a whole new HUD overlay for interacting with different tools in the game. Uh, after that, I have an important meeting with a publisher later this week. And then the third thing is that I need to work on two new YouTube videos that I want to put out. So that's kind of the broad strokes, things that I want to get accomplished. Obviously, I'll be doing more work than that, but those are the things that have to get done. Okay, now the baby is fed, has a clean diaper, and I'm about ready to put her down for a nap. But first, I need to do some exercising because I posted this tweet on Twitter X, and I promised that I would do however many push-ups that equated to the number of likes that the post got. So now I'm up to past 450, so I gotta do some push-ups. Okay, so my first order of business is that I need to take the footage from my drone here and the GoPro and put them onto these hard drives so that I can start putting them together for the devlog this week. All right, got everything loaded on here. And as you can see, this footage is looking good. Look at that. That was how I spent my Sunday yesterday. I guess we started on Monday, so let me rewind and I'll show you what I was up to yesterday. Okay, and here you can see what I'm working on right now. I am redoing the UI and also tweaking some colors, but I'll show you what I've got with the UI so far. Okay, so this is the mock-up that I made in Affinity Pro, Affinity Studio, what is it called? Affinity, Affinity Photo. So you can see that I completely changed all the UI so that it looks a little better. Um, I'll throw something on screen that shows how it looked before, but it was real nasty. It was just quick and dirty to get functionality working. Um, but now I was trying to brainstorm what my desired UI would look like. So this is kind of what I came up with. And then this is what I have so far in the game. Um, this check mark is obviously placeholder. But uh, one thing that I really like about this is that it's all so minimal at the top. But as soon as you put your cursor up here, then it folds down and you can kind of select whatever you want. And so then you can just do, 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 and then go up here go to wow. trees and start placing some trees and then go up here and see what you can build. You have buildings here and then you also have categories so you can switch between buildings and boats and lay down some boats and then go back up here to bridges and you can start building some bridges. So I think it's looking pretty good. I love how minimal the UI is up here so that it's really not intrusive. But then you still have this little box down here, so when you have something selected, you know what you have selected without having to highlight up here. Um, and then, yeah, animals and colors, and you can swap all this. And I made it so that the UI actually changes colors depending on which color palette you select. So you can see now the UI is bluish. Um, I'm still messing around with it just to see what the best combination for... Uh, UI colors is and then this is the procedural tool so you can see uh, This is what I'm currently working on. So this isn't finalized. I think I need to make it look a little better still um, But the functionality is all there. You can mess with all of the the probabilities of things appearing for the land and then the bridges the buildings the trees the rocks the animals so all of this stuff is here and you can just mess with it and then um, right now the this is the generate button, but I'll be replacing that soon. And then everything pops up and you can just check it out. Um, yeah, and thanks for coming to my TED Talk. Is it time to get some exercise? Yeah.
All right, let's go. All right, I am clocking out for the day, but let me show you what I've been working on. I updated the icons up here. Um, I spent some time, you can see, designing some icons in Infinity Photo, and I think that these look much better than the ones that were here previously. So we have building land tiles, trees and rocks, building buildings and boats, the bridge tool, uh, spawning animals, and then the colors, and then the procedural generation tools. Um, so that's all fine and dandy. I also updated the trash and the erasing tool. And then I got rid of the temp check mark generate button and moved to generate button up here. And then the last thing that I've been working on today is um, these selection icons. When you pick something to spawn like this tree, um, to show what's selected, even when the HUD isn't pulled down, you have this thing down here. And before it had these temp icons, which are, don't look very good because of the dark backgrounds and they're just screenshots that I threw in there um, just so I knew what I was working with. But um, in the future, I want to be able to have a real time preview of what they're gonna look like. So like for the, uh, for the land tiles, if I want to spawn in and see what they actually look like with their color and whatever, um, a simple screenshot isn't gonna cut it. So I set up a camera that will take the object that you have selected, spawn it in, and then it will save that instance uh, that was captured by the camera into an image file, and then it will display it here. And you can see that it's the, the alignment isn't, um, isn't standardized yet, but it has, uh, it's working in a rudimentary way so you can see what you select because off screen it's spawning that object and then uh, it's capturing it and displaying it there. So um, it works with the animals and everything. So uh, it needs a little more work, but that's what I've been working on as well today. And uh, with that, I will bid the adieu. Hey, thanks for clicking on the video. I hope that you enjoyed following me along this fine Monday. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and wish list bridges and docks on Steam, and I'll keep you guys updated with what I'm working on as we go. Cool. See you in the next one.